Hundreds of officers raid homes and businesses across the Hub City this morning as part of a nationwide sting. The operation targeted illegal synth synthetic drugs and the people accused of selling them. Today's raids make this the largest synthetic drug bust in history. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Cindy Lundeberg took part in our team coverage throughout the day. Quiet neighborhoods across North Jackson got an early morning wake-up call from officers who stormed the homes of suspected drug dealers. Similar raids at local stores had others shocked. Well, I, I came in, I just seen all the policemen over there and uh, everything was blocked off, not letting nobody in or get gas or do any service business. 500 officers carried out 33 raids just like this one across West Tennessee. 250 of the officers were in Jackson, where nine businesses were targeted. In all, 14 shops in the region were shut down. Project Synergy is the largest ever coordinated law enforcement strike against designer drugs, targeting the manufacturers, distributors, and retailers of more than 250 synthetic drugs being abused every day in the United States and globally. Synthetic drugs, also known as spice, bath salts, or K2, are called designer drugs. They're made from natural herbs that are sprayed with chemicals to mimic the effect of hallucinogenic drugs and can be deadly. Following a nearly two-year-long investigation involving federal, state, and local law enforcement, hundreds of purchases and seizures were made from more than 34 different stores in West Tennessee. During Project Synergy's takedown, more than 75 search warrants were executed and 35 arrests were made. In the raids, officials say millions of dollars of drugs and weapons were seized with no major problems, with the goal of protecting teens from these often lethal and highly addictive drugs. Synthetic drugs are marketed specifically and targeted specifically toward our young people. And to those of you who are brazen enough to sell this poison, particularly to our children and young adults, you will be held accountable to the fullest extent of the law. In Jackson, Cindy Lundeberg, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. Twelve people from Jackson were indicted. Each will appear before a federal judge on July 1st. To find out who they are and the charges they face, look for the story on our website at WBBJTV.com.